trailer just dropped. Look at this shit. My goodness. Now, I obviously have no idea. I mean, I have an inkling of who that who is. Ryan Reynolds plays him. There's a new movie based on the beloved anti hero on uh, Stanley's Marvel Comics. Deadpool seems like the perfect motherfucking movie for Ryan Reynolds. Now, now, just keep in mind, Ryan Reynolds to me is just kind of like a dick. When you look at him, he's like a dick, you know? So it's fucking perfect. Deadpool is a dick. And with the new footage releasing on Deadpool the movie, I think it's the, it's the only movie that I will ever be able to watch and tolerate the Ryan Reynolds. The movie was shot right here in Vancouver, which obviously, you know, look, what the fuck is he doing? Look at this shit. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. The reason why Deadpool is gonna be facing this David Beckham lookalike motherfucker is because if you guys watch the trailer, you will be well aware that that part of the movie where, where uh, Deadpool calls that guy Paul Spice. So, there we go, David Beckham with a nice move there. But let's get back to the issue at hand here, and that is the fact that Deadpool is arriving on February 12th of 2016. Now, the reason why I want to cover the movie at all is the fact it was filmed here in Vancouver. Now, if you guys don't know this, uh, Vancouver has a very flourishing uh, Chinese community. Now, it's very interesting to note that Ryan Reynolds, while filming here, was hit by a driver. Not necessarily from Richmond, but guess what? That bitch turned out to be Chinese. Well, of course, I say bitch. I don't know whether it was a wet man or woman or woman. or I don't know exactly what we're looking for. But the man or woman who hit Ryan Reynolds with the car uh, was Chinese. We all know that. But I'm getting off topic. On topic, of course, would be the fact that Deadpool looks like a pretty fucking sick movie. I mean, if you ask this guy right here, I think that it's probably one of, you know, the best Marvel looking movies that I have seen ever produced. Look at this shit! Deadpool off the top rope and land that big fucking Deadpool ass on David Beckham. What's he doing here? Oh, very nice move, martial art. I guess the one thing that I am worried about, you know, at first, was I was like, well, geez, this is a little bit almost like two on the nose, you know? What the fuck is going on? And Deadpool, yeah! Deadpool right in the corner, crushing David Beckham. But the thing is, is that as I was saying in the intro, the, you know, Ryan Reynolds is made uh, for roles in which he can portray a thick without remorse. And I think that this is definitely going to be one of them. Now, of course, if you guys are new to my channel, then you will know that I am Chinese and the fact that I like self-deprecating humor and I like to make fun of Chinese people. That doesn't mean that this is not the real way that I talk. It is. This is the real way that I talk. So if you guys say something about the way I talk, it's, you know, a little bit deemed racist. But it's okay. I will forgive you. Deadpool now working away on David Beckham to the outside and in. Yeah, nice move by Deadpool. But in, in all seriousness, Deadpool does look like a good fucking movie. It has a lot of neat action sequences in which my only concern is that if it's cut like a mile a minute, like Domino, with Kira Knightley, or Born Identity, or Born Supremacy, or Born Ultimatum, you know? So, that's my only concern. If they cut it right, I think it's gonna be a good fucking movie, you understand? Uh-oh, Dave Beckham fear- Oh, no, wait a second. We all thought Dave Beckham was gonna get some sort of rise in the third quarter, or fourth quarter, whatever. He oh, oh my, there we go! He whipped Deadpool right into the ropes there! Is it just me, or does Dave Beckham look almost kind of like Kevin Federline? You know, when Kevin Federline took on John Shayna not too long ago? Well, actually, that was about 10 years ago, but you understand. Deadpool! Oh, Deadpool, look at this! Deadpool! Oh, my! Look at this! The martial arts of Deadpool! But I'll tell you, the, the interesting thing was the dynamic between the fat guy, TJ Mira, and, of course, Deadpool himself, saying that he looked... 
like an avocado had sex with another older avocado. So I, I very much enjoy jokes like that in the movie. I mean, I feel as if it was, oh Jesus, look at this. Look at this move. Deadpool squeezing the life out of Dave Beckham. There we go. See you later, Posh Spice. The victory, of course, goes to Deadpool. But to expand a little bit on my review of the actual, you know, my reaction and review, however you want to kind of slice it, to the actual movie trailer, I think it's going to be one of those movies that's a little bit dirtier than a lot of the other Marvel movies. I mean, this one looks like it's going to be R-rated. Uh, it's going to have a lot of kinky, dirty jokes. It's going to be Ryan Reynolds being a dick for two hours, meshed with a good amount of action, him making fun of the suit, which obviously we saw, you know, in the likes of Ant-Man with Paul Rudd, where he was like, oh, it wasn't my idea, you know, to call it the Ant-Man suit. But yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of, Here's no, I'm not winner. a big fan, but I'm an advocate for uh, Ryan Reynolds. I think that he has a capability of being a big star. It's just the fact that he was waiting for the perfect role. And I think that Deadpool is indeed the perfect anti-hero character for a guy like Ryan Reynolds to show off not only his comedic ability, but his overall sense and understanding of what it takes to be an action hero by essentially being the Deadpool character. I think it's gonna be good. If you like my reaction, if you like this video, boom, give the video a thumbs up, you know? And if you want to watch the Deadpool official trailer, make sure to take a look at the under panty section below, which I like to call the description. So if you haven't checked out the trailer, I'm sure you've checked it out, otherwise you wouldn't have watched this video, but I just watched it. It's fantastic, and I can't wait for February 12, 2016.